In this video, I'll show you how to use a plane to help you construct your sketch. And I'm going to start off, I'm going to use this rectangle tool. So the third one down is a two point rectangle, and the second one of those points is the center. If you click on your origin and you just drag your mouse out, you can very quickly create a rectangle, and it's going to be always be symmetric about the center point. So it's a super quick way to draw a shape. Um, this happens to be a square, but it works perfectly fine for squares. I need to put some holes on the corners. Now because this, let me show you something, because this is a square, I'm going to make sure I locate my hole right on that corner right there. Uh, oh, sorry, right on that line. This one I'm purposely not going to do that so you can see the difference. And it's just going to make it a little bit easier to constrain. So let's put some dimensions on that. So if I dimension from the top down, I know that's a half an inch. Notice how that's now fully constrained because this line, because it's a square, this is a 45 degree angle. So when you put a half there, that would have to be a half. Whereas on this one, let's see what happens. I'm going to have to dimension it both ways. So it saves you a little bit of dimensioning time. Same thing, now this one's on the line, so should only take one dimension. Okay, that's constrained. Let's finish the sketch. I'm going to want to cut those holes. Oh, I don't want to cut the holes. <laughs> what I want to do is create the shape. And it'll have holes in it. There we go. That makes more sense. Uh, this part is three quarter thick. And now let me show you. Now I purposely built this on the origin. Now let me show you when you go over here. So bring your mouse over here and click on that plus sign where it says origin. And you're going to see your original planes that were there when you first started building your very first sketch. Also shows the X, Y, and Z axes. And what we're going to do is find a plane that we can work around. And I'll, that X, Z looks like the orientation I'm looking for. So right click there and by visibility put a check mark and that'll make that plane stay visible for you. And you can use that now to draw on. Now obviously we can draw on any of these other surfaces, but because of the nature of this part, I want to use that plane it'll make my life so much easier for the rest of the construction of this part so I'm gonna start my sketch and make sure you highlight that plane and that's how we're gonna build it now in reality this plane is infinitely large it's only showing you that size for uh, some uh, <coughs> excuse me for the efficiency of the space you don't want to have planes filling your screen but you can make that bigger if you need to but as long as we know that the plane is there so I'm gonna start with my circle tool and I'm gonna get that center on that line right there because that's going to help me too in terms of constructing this and I have a 1.875 inch diameter and it has a three quarter hole in it let's make that a little bit bigger and let's finish the sketch now it's just floating out there in space but you'll see how this comes together as we go I do need to extrude that now choose the area you want to extrude now I don't want to go a direction because remember I build it on the mid plane on that plane which is the middle of this I want to extrude in both directions and I want to do it symmetrically so click on that now you're going to put in the full thickness of the part not half of the thickness uh, in this case that is going to be 0.875 so you can see what we have here is that part right there one thing I neglected to do my sketch I just realized is I don't I didn't finish my dimensions so we do know from here to the bottom of the part is two inches <laughs> I almost had it that was just pure luck okay so I need to connect all this so let's make a new sketch using that work plane just like we did before and now we're going to use the line tool. Now make sure you're connecting at the quadrants here. And then likewise here, make sure you're connecting on that surface. 
and we need to connect to that next quadrant. So I'm going to find that so the software will kind of know what I'm looking for. Should kind of know what I'm looking for. If you can't get that to come on, I'm going to hit escape and I'm going to come and start up here on the quadrant to make sure I have it locked on. It's going to save you some trouble down the road. And um, hmm, I don't think I got that bottom line, maybe. Let's put a dimension on that because I got a purple on there. It shouldn't be purple. Okay, so that looks good. Now let me show you what we have. So again, I've sketched it on that plane. I'm not quite done yet though because I need to close in this shape. Now you can always click on this cube over here to swing your view around. So I, I have to close the shape. You say, well, there's a circle already there. That doesn't count for this sketch. I need to close in the shape. So let's come over there and you can either type in the dimension or it'll, it'll try to find that uh, intersection point. And I'll need to trim off the top of this so I can have just one closed shape. Let's look at it now. So see, now I have a closed shape right there. I can finish that sketch and I'm going to extrude that. And again, what I want to do is extrude symmetric around the middle. Now this thickness on this part is different. Otherwise, I would have just included it in that sketch on the circular part there. And that's actually 0.62 thick. So that's what that's all about. So the act of having that mid plane in there is super helpful. You could construct this uh, another way, but this is probably the, without a doubt, the easiest, quickest way. Now I'm done with that plane. I can either come up here and right click it and turn off the visibility, or I can come over here on the part tree, right click it and turn off the visibility. Same thing. I do have some fillets that I need to add in here. Now let me show you something. I don't think we've seen this before. If you want to check some dimensions, come up here where it says inspect, to inspect tab. Click on that and you'll see a little measure tool. If you click on that tool and you can click surfaces or you can click an edge or something. So if I wanted to see like how thick is this, click here. And then I'm going to spin the part around and click there. And it's going to tell me how long that is. And I think I must have clicked too many things. Sorry. Let's try it again. Measure. Click that surface. Let's spin it around. And click there. And it tells you that the minimum distance is 0.60, which is what I wanted. Right? So if you want to check something, let's check this height here. It tells me that's 0.75. Okay, so it's a nice way to ch check up on your work because sometimes it's hard to tell in the heat of making your sketches. Now we do have to add fillets. So if we go to fillet, uh, these are happen to be eighth inch radius. So we just go with what the default is. Go around and you can do them all at the same time or you can do individually. It just takes longer and you can say okay or say apply. It'll put the fillets on there. And now I do have outside fillets, but they're a different radius. Those are actually a quarter inch radius. So go to my fillet tool again. This time I'm going to change that to 0.25. Click on that edge that you want to fill it or the corner, the intersection. And let's make that thing bigger. And that's your part.